This is April Shaltise, using the computer to generate this message. My brother, Rendell Barry Shaltise, is dead. My brother, Todd Perry Shaltise, is dead. My niece, Celeste Shaltise Conway, is dead. All dead. They want me dead, too. Immoral people, today, are still using genocide for gain and amusement. I am a victim of genocide. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. They don't need a reason. But I am an unmarried virgin past 50. I survived multiple murder attempts, so they are calling me a botched kill. They don't want me to have any more birthdays. They poisoned my dogs. They used COVID as an excuse to take away my job, my health insurance, my phone, my internet. They blocked my 403b money and my retirement. They cut my power. They denied my unemployment. They also attacked my vehicles. They are still after my cars. The vehicles are old. One is nearly 20 years old, and the other is nearly 23. But they disabled one car last year, and another one this week. This week, the same week they tried yet again to tow the other one again. Both cars attacked. In the same week, this is not a coincidence. My birthday is June 21st. They don't want me to make it to my next birthday. This is Rome, and Rome wants you to die in the arena. Rome is still here. Rome crucified Christ and created Christianity to cover up the genocide of Jews, Africans, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Vietnamese, Koreans, Hmong, Hawaiians, Eskimos, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on the border every day. Never, never forget, never. The scriptures say, Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea, and the waters returned, and covered the chariots, and the horsemen, and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them, there remained not so much as one of them.